Welcome to my channel. This is the official website of SQQQ. This ETF is three times the inverse of the daily performance of NASDAQ 100 index. This chart is SQQQ's weekly chart. We can see that SQQQ was created in 2010. We do not have data older than that. Assume the value of SQQQ was 1 million in 1999 when QQQ was created. This is the simulation of SQQQ from 1999. We can see the initial value was 1 million. The value dropped all the way down to 20,000, the lowest value in September 2000. And it rose 6 times to 121,000. So it had gained 6 times during the dot-com bubble burst. Let's see what happened during the 2008 crash. It went from 1,300 to 4,900. So that was four times gain. Also, in the March 2020 crash, it went from 0 0.42 to 0 0.86. That was only two times gain. Shorting SQQQ is a very profitable strategy, but you need to make sure that you have enough capital to not over allocate SQQQ in case it may rise six times as in 2000. We can calculate the annualized loss of SQQQ. This is the formula. You can see annually SQQQ lost 52%. Currently, I allocate 5% of my portfolio in shorting SQQQ. In case SQQQ went up by 6 times, I still have enough capital in my account to cover this loss.